Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. That tapping noise is the stirring of heavy whipping cream with red pesto? Is that exactly what's... Yeah. That's a strange combination. I know. We'll see. Okay. Um, yesterday we made, uh, or I made actually, I was busy working, I, I made uh, salmon pesto. It was good. I don't think I ever gave my specific thoughts on it, but I, I, I loved it. Um, I'm a huge fan of salmon. I'm a huge fan of green pesto. And uh, it was basically the best of both worlds there. Um, but I did say that we had another pesto dish, and that's tonight. It's red pesto, and uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. Mal, you've cut it, up it's just, some chicken thighs. Yeah. And you said it's going to be a casserole, right? Yeah, so I'm going to mix all this together and then throw it in the oven. And this is... Feta and then the pesto cream mix. Okay. Now we'll, well serve it with a beautiful little spinach salad. Okay. Um, sure. I'm down. Uh, I'm looking forward to the, I guess in some, some way, the, the bizarreness of that. That's not something I would have come up with, but um, I like all the things that are going into it. Pesto, chicken, feta. Should be um, interesting regardless. I'm also going to use up this cauliflower rice. Sure. Sure. So January has proved, um, you know, uh, just a little bit more difficult uh, than I thought it would be in terms of, uh, I guess, getting everything caught up and, and back on track from ChefCon and then also from Avila Mase visiting. But um, today has been kind of the completion of some of the side things that I've had to take care of, and I, I feel like we're finally getting back on track, which is uh, which is good. It's interesting because you know people know that what we do for a living is videos, uh, Steam Play, Steam Vlog, etc., and they say, okay, well, you know, that's what you're doing. But there's just so much more little detail stuff that um, that goes into it, and so many things that we uh, tend to juggle on the side that have to be done, whether real life stuff, uh, you know, apart from the business or, you know, other business stuff. And uh, there's been a lot of little little things to take care of. I heard a door open. I thought I had closed that. We've been in and out of there a few times, though, so that's why he's in there. Hey! <laughs> he froze. Hey, Sagan! Come on out! Come on out! 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 All the way! Out. You're cute, but I also know that you will get in there and you will climb. You climb the shelves. It's not okay. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, you know, after today, things are things are finally going to be like back on track, and I'm I'm happy for that. Um, it's been great to visit with folks. Um, it really has. Um, it's been great to see everybody. But now it's like, all right, really want to get back to uh, back to what I was doing and and. Tonight slash tomorrow is, is when that'll actually uh, when that'll actually happen, which is uh, exciting. It's also Saturday, which means that um, we're going to be doing some Stephen and Friends stuff. Dan's actually out of town. Um, we worked ahead because he was going out of town. I think I talked about that. And he's um, in Spain with his family. His sister's actually doing some work um, out of the country, uh, and uh, she gets like a week of leave, and she's using that to meet up with you know, Dan and her family and everything um, in Spain. So that's really, really cool. So he's going to actually go have a, a good time there. And we have everything set for him being gone, so it's, you know, no problem at all for him to, you know, to, to take a, a week or so off. In the meantime, we'll be pushing ahead um, as, as far as we can so he'll have stuff to do when he gets back. And also because uh, we're going to start preparing for our next trip, which is over two months away, but um, we are going to be taking a trip in April, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that as it gets closer, and there will be plenty to talk about for sure. Um, it's just nice that, as it stands right now, we've got an entire two months to uh, take care of some stuff, and um, that makes me feel good. I'm going to be working uh, very hard on getting things caught up, um, and then also focusing on Fallout, because uh, I'd ideally like to finish that up before we leave in April. That is like my plan. It's like my internal <laughs> hope uh, and prayer is that uh, by the time we uh, go on this trip coming up in April, that Fallout is a distant or maybe not so distant memory. And uh, it's just all out there for people to binge. I don't know how long it would take to binge the entirety of Fallout, but 
You could if you wanted to. How are we looking over here? Um, interesting. Interesting? Yeah, I th there's some changes I would make if I did this again. Oh? Yeah. It does look a little liquidy. It is. But it look it smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. It looks good. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Kepi watches from afar, wishing that he could have some of the food. Sorry, buddy. No, Kepi. So uh, give it a shot, and uh, you know. It's hot. Tell me what it tastes like. I bet this would be real good over rice. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to avoid some of uh, some of that stuff, though. Is it a good flavor, at least? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. It's tasty. It is tasty. Yeah, it's um, it's that feather. Mm -hmm. It has a really strong um, feather taste. Yeah, the the sauce is really good. That would be really good over rice. That would be my advice for anyone watching. Or pasta. Or pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta. Pasta more than rice. If you're if you're uh, if you're not um, trying to you know cut out carbs for whatever reason, my personal advice would be to put this over some like angel hair. Oh my God, that would be good. But if you're interested, regardless, I'll put the uh, recipe down below. Um, it has a good flavor. It's just, yeah, it would definitely be better over pasta. A little bit later and yeah, we did some Steven and Friends content. Uh, a thousand black and white cards and broken picture phone. Uh, generally when we do either one of those, we tend to do the other as well because Recording them back to back is, is usually pretty easy. Sometimes we'll do two thousand black white cards. We almost never do two broken picture phones um, just because they take so long to do. You guys just get the, the end of it, but it takes a long time to do all the drawings. Um, as I announced yesterday, we are going to continue on our little Kit Kat journey. Kit Kat journey, yay! Uh, so, Mal, what is it that we're trying today? Well, I thought we, you know, we did one from this section. Okay. I thought we'd move to this section. Sure. So we're just going to start at the top. Yep. And that is what now? This is a, it's called an eye fruits. I love fruits. I love fruits. Strawberry. I do love strawberries. And it's such a weird thing. Okay, sure. Open it up. Ooh, it's little. It is little. Um, it's a tiny little thing. Should okay. Just take a bite? Or should uh, I try and break it? Uh, whatever. Well, yeah, that works. Smell it. We've had, we've had strawberry Kit Kats before. Are these the same? Mm. Oh, it's very strawberry. Mm. I feel like we've had a strawberry Kit Kat before, but it wasn't quite yeah. like this. It was good. Yeah. I mean, there's another strawberry one later. That's the one I think we've had. Yeah. And the fact that that's different than an I Love Fruit <laughs> Kit Kat is bizarre in ways that I don't like clearly understand but um that was good it's interesting how some of them are like the traditional fun size Kit Kat uh -huh. and then other the ones you get like one little tiny stick yeah I'm not sure what that's about but um whatever it was good <laughs> I approve of that one between the two I'd prefer the bitter one. Oh, I agree by a large margin yeah. but the fruit ones are uh, the fruit ones are good anyway that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?